2010 17-inch MacBook Pro DVD drive replacement. Start off by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the cover that's fastened with 10 Phillips head screws. Remove the 7 Phillips head screws that are short first, starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws. Lift and remove the cover. Begin by disconnecting the battery first. DVD drive removal. Go ahead and start off by removing the T6 case bracket. This will unblock one of the DVD drive screws. Go ahead and disconnect the Bluetooth antenna next. Now disconnect the Bluetooth data cable. Trace the cable down and disconnect the eyesight portion of the cable. There might be a little plastic guard near it. Go ahead and remove that. Remove the three DVD drive Phillips head screws next. You can unscrew them and leave them in place. Disconnect the DVD drive. Lift the drive at the bottom right corner. Go ahead and pull out those screws that you left in place. You now need to transfer the SATA connector and the Phillips head screw mount as well as the Bluetooth card onto your new drive. DVD drive reinstallation. Leave the two Phillips head screws in on the left side of the drive and insert it in at an angle. This will allow you to fasten them easier. Drop it into the socket and reinstall and retighten the three Phillips head screws. Connect the drive to the logic board. Reconnect the Bluetooth antenna. Place it over the socket and press it in gently with your finger. Make sure it's tightly in. Reconnect the Bluetooth data cable. You can use the screwdriver to help you, but make sure not to damage the connection. Trace out the eyesight cable and plug it into the logic board. Again, use the screwdriver to help you, but don't damage it. You can now place back the plastic guard. This is optional. Place back the Bluetooth cover and the EyeSight cable bracket cover. Go ahead and reconnect the T6 screw case bracket. You can now reconnect the battery. Gently slide it into the socket. Look down and get a better angle as you need to make sure that this goes in correctly. Place the cover back on. Reinstall the three long Phillips head screws first. Then reinstall the seven short Phillips head screws. No resets are needed. You're all done.